morning sir yeah good morning uh, am i know your good name my name is prasad yeah prasad can i have your resume yes sir yeah uh, prasad before going to the interview so quickly introduce yourself like uh, what is your basic and uh, what are the skills you know myself prasad my qualification is master computer application i was completed it from sumbhal university thank you my skills sir manual testing and also code java automation yes yeah fine yeah uh, sir that's a good intro okay fine so you are good at uh, manual and java full through only or only on manual through yeah fine so actually the interview was going through manual testing okay so fine and uh, so test coming under testing so mostly we are listening the words like defect error bug this yes, all okay so okay explain what is defect defect is a which is as per said expectation not equals to actual yeah okay so if expectation not matching to that yes, so user expectations okay. not equal to actual yes you need to say that client expectation yes, fine okay so you mentioned that you have a knowledge on manual testing and automation testing manual okay, like yes, uh, you said okay so what is the difference between the manual and automation testing manual testing is a process for the verification like a observation on what's going on manual my automation is a using product or functional and non functional activities okay so can you go with a somewhat better approach yes sir Okay, so simply you can say manual testing was done by human approaches, like a uh, human efforts, yes, without using any, any tools. tools. Okay, coming to the automation, we are using yes, some predefined testing tools, testing tool. and we are continuing the testing. Yes, okay, so testing done by automatically with using tools, tools. is known as automation. automation. Yes, testing done by manually without using tools is known as manual. manual. Okay, fine. Okay, you said that verification. Verification is a process of observation. What is going on? on the status of project okay so who will involve in the inside this verification i will manage the qa okay. qa will involve okay so what is bva bva stands for boundary value analysis okay it is a database to determine changes between like minimum and maximum value okay so which type of data we can prepare only valid or invalid Valid and invalid both are there. Okay, can you explain the formulas? Valid formula and invalid formula. Valid formula is minimum plus one, maximum minus one. Uh, maximum plus one and ma minimum minus one coming under invalid. Yes, yes. So the minimum like uh, minimum the value we have a minimum, minimum maximum, maximum and average. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fine. So we have a one document in a STLC. Yes. The document name is known as RC. Okay, so what is the RCN, and when? What is the use of the RCN? RCN is stands for Requirement Clarification and Note. Okay. It is used for the users, the business, clients' requirements are clarified. It means uh, requirements are clarified or not. Is there is there any confusion or not? Okay, so you need to change that word. So while performing the testing in Requirement analysis. Okay, yes, in test requirement analysis, if we can study any requirement was uh, as a testing prospective not understandable or no. not testable requirement. So we have no need to reject that requirement. We need to mention in a RCN, RCN no. doc. Okay, then client will give the clarification. Okay, so this way you need to explain. Okay, fine. Okay, so while we are performing the software testing, so we need to prepare our test cases. Yes, sir. Okay. So you need to tell what is test case and what are the attributes following a test case template. Test case is a template like which which types of the test case tests are available in this way. Test test attribute and test case attributes are serial number, test ID, uh, types of data, expectations, actuals, report, feedback, comment. Yes, you need to follow test steps also, test three conditions. Yes. Yeah, ah, uh, fine. Mm. Okay, can you explain what is STLC and what are the phases available? Yes, STLC. STLC stands for Software Testing Life Cycle. There okay. are some phases are available. Some phases are those are the test requirement analysis, gathering test, test 
system to test to perform analysis and test design and planning and test uh, environment setup, test execution, test report and test close. Mm, okay. So how many types of reports we have? Reports. Like uh, we have a pass and fail. Yes, okay. Pass so when we can say report pass and when we can say report fail? Report pass. The test the test case the test is pass the required which means expectations equal to actual. So if expectation equals so to actual, actual we can set pass. pass. When the then expectation fail. not equal to actual, it is fail. Fine. And okay. So what is retesting? Retesting when the tester find the defect and send to the developer. When the developer fix the bugs and again can again the send to test. When the tester was taking the test on the Bugs after the bugs making, bugs fixing in the software, it, then the testing is again it is called retesting. Is retesting is mandatory? Uh, we, uh, why we need to do retesting? Like uh, without retesting, can we close the test case? Yes, sir. We can we can close the test case, but there is a high chance to fail. You. Okay. And retesting is used to used to checking the impact of. No, no. Okay, fine. So you are going another. Okay, so okay, you are started right. So what is regression testing? Regression testing is checking the impacts of before retesting and after retesting after all the entire modules in the software. Okay. So is it mandatory? Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Why it is a mandatory? So like, what is the process happening here? You can also send it to the market, but it leads to high chance to fail. You. So that's why you have to conduct. Okay. So yeah, fine. And then my question is like, uh, we have a white box testing. Yes. Okay. So to perform this white box, developers are using some techniques. Yes. Okay. So what are the techniques we have? Syntax checking, path checking, condition checking, and and looping, looping or checking. checking. Okay. So like while you are uh, explaining this answer, like you need to be a like uh, while developer was checking their code, they are going to check the basic syntax yes, and then looping and looping, looping statements and condition, condition statements, statements and, and the path, path coverage. Okay. One more is there you can see like uh, mutation coverage also. Okay. Fine. Uh, then what is user acceptance testing and what are the types available in that? User testing is when the user accepts the entire product after testing this is there is a two phases in this. One alpha, the alpha testing and beta testing. Okay, so alpha testing is when the, the client comes to our office and is checking the product and in the presence of testers and developers, it is called alpha testing. When the client was checking the product at the at the, in, in the own environment, it is called beta testing. Okay, fine. And uh, so, like my question is, uh, what is bug release? When the testers are no no knows in there is a bug. They are taking it easy and it fix it after after the release the product. When the tester knows the defect is there and release this product, it is called bug release. So finally, uh, like uh, I don't need to test the application. I completed my development. I am not following any testing. Directly I am sharing to market. Is it possible to share directly in market? Yes sir, it is possible but it causes to use high, high chance to fail you. Market. So what will happen if application get failure? It get failure in market. It say market is uh, spreading negativity fastly. So that's why the entire product will be failed mm -hmm. in the market. Okay. So fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, Prasad. Like I think I done with my side. So you have any queries to ask? No sir. Yeah. Fine. <coughs> you can.